Hey, welcome back to the Ingrid Norton channel. Today I'm going to be doing the full 411 on how I keep my teeth white. So this is the full scope here. So first of all, I will add that one of the biggest things that I have done to keep my teeth white is I do not drink coffee. Yes, for those of you in my fan base and future fan base that drink coffee, that will have an effect on your teeth, like long term. So I have honestly never sipped coffee, not once. So like, I don't even know what it tastes like, but I have seen people that do drink coffee and what's done to their teeth. And I don't want that to be my teeth. So this is what I'm doing. Like I, I keep, I make sure that what goes in doesn't have any crazy coloring. So for example, juices are like fruit punch that are like a hot red kind of color or like a juice that has like a bright orange color. Those vibrant colors, I tend to not drink very much of. So it might be a few times a year, there's a party you go to, they've got fruit punch, I'll drink it. But for me to go out and buy it at the store, I, I won't go buy like those heavy juices. But that's just something to keep in mind. So just water, water, water's a ticket. So for toothpaste, what I do for my toothbrush is I have one of these, it's a Philips Sonicare. So it looks like this has like a gold kind of, now the color here doesn't matter, but you can get them in like gold and silver. So my husband has silver and I have the like goldy one. Um, so it looks kind of like this, has like a light for the battery. Um, there's two buttons on it, the power and then the intensity. And there's three intensities, like the softer, the middle and the more intense brushing. And then to make sure your bristles don't get too worn, you just like exchange this out every, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be every like six months, but I may or may not be punctual with that. So that's the toothbrush. That's the one I have for at home. Now I will add, there's like dollar, two dollar brushes that I keep in my purse. So literally if I am at work, in this last two weeks I've not been very good with it, but um, when I'm out and about and I have like, let's say a lunch, on a Saturday with a friend or, which is very rare because I just sit home and chill with my husband all the time. But like on the occasion where I got to eat, I always have this in my purse. So then like if I eat something that has like green little parsley flakes, it's not like stuck in my tooth and I have no way to get it out. So emergency purposes, but like, let's say I'm at work and I have lunch I, and maybe everyone's not like this, but I'm like paranoid. I'm gonna be the person with something in my teeth. <laughs> and that also makes me look like a loser, right? <laughs> so I don't want to look special. So this like saves me a little rare. Now for toothpaste, you need one at home obviously, and then one in your purse. This is not, it doesn't have to be this big, but mine ends up being this big. Um, but like, you can just have like a mini rink -a dink one in the travel section, right? But I get the one that has the whitening thing on here. So it's Crest plus deep clean with a little whitening right there in the corner. Um, and this has the one is the one I've gotten for like uh, years, I guess, and like forever, forever. Um, one thing I do, I only use this like five times pretty much a week and it's in the morning right before work because like, okay, horror story. One particular time I brushed my teeth in the morning and my husband at some point in the morning getting ready for work said that I had bad breath. And actually, this might have been on a Saturday. But anyway, the point is, um, I was going somewhere. So I brushed my teeth. I knew I had brushed my teeth. And he said I had bad breath. And I was thinking, I just brushed my teeth. It's impossible to have bad breath. I just, like, I'm good. I'm good to go. But clearly, if there was a smell there, then it wasn't fully clean. And so I decided to start using this. It is a mouthwash, but it's a Crest Pro Health. Um, advantage one and it's the multi-protection. The one with the blue leaf. I don't know if they're, I think they might have a few with different leaf colors. It's the blue one. Um, and I'm almost out. But I've used it just because I'm paranoid that I'm going to have bad breath. So even if I brush my teeth, like I don't want bad breath. So this like seals the deal. Like this makes it so there's no bad breath. And so you don't embarrass yourself or people think you didn't brush your teeth when you really did, but maybe it wasn't as thorough as you meant to. <coughs> um, and that can be really embarrassing. So that's what I do. Okay. Um, for, oh, kind of skipped the floss. Floss, this is like a bag that we get on Amazon. Super cheap. But they also have this exact brand at Dollar Tree. I checked. 
Um, it's a little bit smaller of a bag. And so you get like more in the bigger bags for like cheaper if you get them online. So we just get them online. But it's the Plackers Micro Mint. And um, it says engineered not to stretch, shred, or break, which I really do appreciate. So, um, and there's how many come in this bag. 160 <clears throat> for this bag. And I, I like the mint flavor. I'm like a sucker for the mint flavor. So, and I maybe the only common mint, I don't even know. Like, but I like it. So I use it. And we get these over and over again. And we get like multiple bags. So just stock up. You're going to need it, right? And then also, and this doesn't really totally apply because I don't use this, but I have my kids use this. Um, so for those of you that are parents, um, good old parenting, Kids Crest Cavity Protection. They have not as big a variety for like the kids uh, toothpaste, but I've always just stuck with this one and it's a crest. I'm like, I know like some people are like Colgate users and they're failing. Some people are crest. Cresters. Is that a thing? Cresters. <laughs> Crester. <laughs> so I'm not sponsored by Crest. If Crest sees this in five years time down the road, yes, I will do a, a deal with you. <laughs> but for right now, this is just, this is literally what I use. So it's the truth. Kids Crest for the kiddos. Um, so now how do I get my teeth so straight? I have a story here. So some years ago in high school, I um, had braces, but I did end up finishing the brace, um, the braces like plan, which is going to be like two years because I ended up leaving for university. And so I was going to get them put back on, but then I never did because like life happened and I just got busy with school. And so I didn't find you know, one of the two orthodontics that were in that town. Um, and so I had a gap in my teeth and it was like right around here. And so fast forward 10 years after a marriage and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, like when I think about my best self, I have like a beautiful smile. Like I want the beautiful smile. I want it to be white. I want it to be, have like, just be straight. And, um, and I convinced my husband, like, I need this. I need this. You want a beautiful life? <laughs> so basically he agreed and um oh there's a little mark on this box something got on it um so I have now I'm not done with this but I did do the Invisalign okay and that's also backwards Invisalign it's spelled I-N-V-I-S-A-L-I-G-N so you can go to an orthodontist and they use these trays or you can go to even um some dentists that have taken particular classes with the Invisalign program to get your teeth straight. I used to work in an orthodontic office for a very short time, but um, I actually just went to my dentist, my everyday dentist to get these because he was like certified to do the Invisalign. And so um, they basically scan your teeth like with this electric thing with a blue light and they just like do, it's like a picture of your mouth, a 3D picture. And so they sent to Invisalign, the orthodontist at Invisalign, figure out what you need. And then they put certain attachments on your teeth. And I just got mine removed like a few weeks ago. So this is my new smile. So exciting. Um, but basically they, um, they straighten your teeth over time and depending on like how bad your teeth are or how straight they are, like it, you may, it could very well last for months or like a year. And so, um, I had a number of these. I, in fact, like I had to go through two boxes because the first one, I finished my whole plan and my front two teeth, they were not quite straight. It was still a little bit off and like enough where I was bothered by it. I'm like, it's got, it's not known. It's not perfect. Not like I'm picky, but like if it's the front two teeth, like people are going to care. I notice. And so, um, they gave me another box and this was that second box that had like seven aligners to like make it exactly right <clears throat> and then after that you get like a, and this is what i'm in right now this is just the retainers and there's like four that come in here um it's the v vivera retainers so v-i-v-e-r-a retainers and so um you basically wear these and this is what the tray the trays look like when they're straightening your teeth but with this it's a different material it's still clear but it's a different harder material so that your teeth don't move so you wear them for six months um, and then after that, you only wear them at night, but with the, like the trays that you, that were actually moving your teeth, those you're supposed to wear like 22 hours in a day. 
So literally you can take them out to eat for meals and they're right back in. And I wasn't very perfect with that because to be honest, for most of that time, I literally just wore them at night. For the first few months, because it was like new, I was like, oh, I've got to be really good with this. So I did do it like, you know, 24 seven, except when I was eating, but like, um, just to make sure like I hit that 22 hour mark. But um, after that, I just kind of wore them at night and it's still straight into my teeth. So we're fine, we're good. Anyway, so retainers afterwards. So. And then obviously if these get really like in time, like they'll like wear out. So you can just buy new retainers basically. So, and the retainers are $500. So the $500 covers four retainers, but that could last, I mean, that could last like, you know, a year or two, or just, it depends. Like I'll see how fast I go through those. Um, and then you can clean them too, just to make sure, you know, using hydrogen peroxide or something. But like when you, wonder like how much Invisalign is like to actually straighten your teeth. The cost does vary because you might need to be in these trays longer than the next person. Um, sorry if I have an easy voice, I'm like kind of sick. I'm getting over my little cold here, but, um, um, mine was like 2300. I think was everything was the whole plan to straighten my teeth. And then also for the $500 retainer. So that included the 500 the 2300. So basically 1800 to actually straighten the teeth. Um, so I feel like that was a good deal. Um, cause I mean, even though it's like a chunk of change right there, like I'm going to save up, um, you have like a lifetime of a nice smile. And I, I guess, I mean, not everyone judges you by your smile, but like, I think that I always felt like if I left my teeth like in a very crooked state, like what if people judged me and didn't give me a job? Like, could it mean that like I would not get like my dream job or something? Or, or maybe I wouldn't make the friends that I wanted to make because they were like, they look interesting or, you know, she looks, I don't know, not very polished. It, I don't know. I just, and, and maybe, oop, okay. And my camera's moving. Sorry. It's not an earthquake, I promise. Probably shouldn't lean on the table. Um, but I guess I was just like really paranoid about that. And so I just wanted to feel my best and be confident. Cause I feel like having a really good smile can make someone confident. It gives you confidence. And so I felt like that was, um, something that I wanted. I don't, I don't think I was ever really confident when I was younger, just because I was really, I don't know, more reserved and quiet. And I felt like, especially seventh grade for me was like super quiet, but anyway, like I digress. So anyway, the point is, um, I felt like that would give me confidence and to feel pretty. Like, what do you think about like people in magazines, like not people magazine, like people's, I can't even speak English. That's great. People in magazines, like who are on the covers, people that are beautiful. Right. And I thought like, how do I take charge of my own life? Like, how am I going to make myself have a great life? Like what in an ideal world, I'd be super thin, super wealthy, super pretty, right? Like all those things, like everyone wants, right? And so like, I have to make it a reality. And so I thought, you know, I need to have like perfect teeth. Like that would be in an ideal world, I would have perfect teeth and then it would be super, super right. And it'd be super, super pretty. Like that's what I wanted. And so in this line, dentist, make it happen. You got it. Um, and obviously, that might not be for everyone. Some people want the actual brackets on the teeth, which totally work out great too. So it's whatever's your like style. Most teens get like the brackets, but since I'm an adult and I have kids, I was really like paranoid about what that would look like. Cause I rarely, rarely, rarely see adults that have the brackets. It does happen. I know, um, a handful of people in my life that have been adults and gotten the brackets, but, um, I just wanted it to look like my normal smile, like without something that would be glaringly obvious. And so I decided to do the Invisalign trays, but, um, that's kind of what I do. So for a 30 second recap, Crest deep clean with a little like whitening, um, component to it. Flossers. And like, sometimes I feel like it's lost just to like, it's fun to floss after a meal, just to like sit there and be like, <laughs> I'm so weird, I know. Okay, teeth brush, Sonic, Sonicare, Sonicare, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's like a Philips brand, so. 
it's helpful. Um, but for the purse, $2, $1 dealio is fine. And then you also need another one for your purse, a big one. And um, I also, to make sure I have like a fresh breath, because sometimes you can brush and you not have the fresh breath, which I didn't realize until my husband told me, this is the magical, magical liquid, <laughs> the um, mouthwash. That's the term. I was like, what is this called? Mouthwash, it's mouthwash. So that works out great. And it's the crest advantage with the blue leaf, blue leafy right there. Okay, yeah. And then to get the straight teeth, the Invisalign, to straighten the retainers to actually like keep it from moving because teeth move over time. Um, also, I will add this and I forgot about this. So some people grind their teeth at night and I'm one of those grinders. Like I don't like realize I'm doing it, it's just while I'm sleeping. And so you can have damage done to your teeth because you're like grinding it and it can wear down your canines, which it did to mine actually. And so I, um, when I thought about like, do I straighten my teeth? I realized that the retainer would help protect my teeth afterwards. So even if I'm grinding, I'm not damaging my tooth or teeth because they're in the clear trays. So like it will actually help preserve the health of your teeth as well. If you happen to be a person that grinds and I like, I grind heavy with my teeth. I'm like, why do I do this? They think it's because of like stress potentially. Like if you have like a stressful job and there's a lot of tension and your it can come out in your like jaw and you just like kind of grind. So like these, let's see, my canines, are they right here and right here? The ones that are normally like a little bit pointy, those are the ones that were kind of ground down. And if, they, if you crane too far, you can get to, I think it's called the root where then you just have to have your teeth replaced. So if you want to keep a real teeth, don't grind them. Or if, if you do ask for a retainer and honestly, you can like, if you, if you have like a perfect smile now, but you grind your teeth, just go to your, your dentist and they can get one of those formed to your current smile that are like, kind of like these. <clears throat> so you might pay a little pretty quarter for it, but it helps prevent further damage or prevent you from needing to get, um, fake teeth as well. So. That is the full 411 on my teeth care. So, oh, and don't forget, no crazy drinks like coffee or things that will like stain your teeth, like the red hot punch, or not hot punch, fruit punch, red fruit punch, the orange Fanta five times a day, like that's gonna damage your teeth. Um, the Coca-Cola, like the heavily colored stuff. I just don't drink so water and on occasion it's okay to drink the juices but i wouldn't make it like a daily or weekly habit so and then obviously oh and i now if you want to go get the the whitening strips you can always do that i have used that like three times in my life over the last decade so it's not like i'm using whitening strips and that's how it's white which i'm sure most people probably thought would be in my like routine it's not but although i thought about getting it last week because after or no two weeks ago because after i got my attachments removed from my um the process of straightening my teeth I was like oh maybe I should get now the way I'm writing strips to like make it super white <laughs> and I didn't but I'm still thinking of going to buy that just to make it like extra like you know glowy and white but anyway I don't use that although if you do I mean I'm sure it's totally fine but if you use it too much it can wear down your enamel because it kind of on a micro level kind of takes off that layering that protects your teeth from getting cavities. So use it too often and it can damage your teeth. So that's why I don't, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna ruin my phone. Okay, <laughs> it's like wobbling. You'd think I live in California where there's earthquakes, I don't. The Midwest is where it's at. Okay, anyway, that's all for today. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I was so excited yeah, to get um, a request from a subscriber because I only have 18 at the recording of this video. So if you have, any videos that you'd like to see, let me know and I'd be more than happy to make them. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.